Well, good evening. I'm doing a sideways video. Uh, it's not quite the lighting I thought. Oh, dang! I look good in this lighting. So, I'm in uh, Pella, Iowa, which is kind of in the middle of, well, nowhere. Um, but it's really nice. I like it. We were at a place called Central College in Iowa, and it was for incoming. It wasn't even incoming. It was a weird show. I've never, I've never performed a show like this. It was freshman, sophomore. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It was sophomore, junior, and seniors in high school that were in some kind of a program that was trying to prepare you for college. And all the kids seemed to love the show. They, they enjoyed the heck out of it. And we did a really good show. But it was something that I was surprised. Uh, I had never performed. Like, I've performed in front of, I think, I did a show called Overruled, which was a kid's comedy show. But we had, like, 20 people in the audience. This was, like, 150 kids in the audience. Um, it was cool. They liked it. Uh, I'm right now at the American Inn Hotel in Iowa, which is pretty cool. I would show you that more, but... Really, I'm using the lighting to give me, you know, the spotlight that I look for. Uh, so, we had a lot of cool stuff that happened tonight. One of the things that happened that was the best is we play a game called Clamps. And what it is, it's a pun game. And we get suggestions from the audience and we make puns out of it. Like, uh, And the pun is always in the format of like a, what we call a kill line. So, um, like for instance, if we get Banana which is our setup, we always give this suggestion, like, oh, if you gave us the suggestion banana, and we did the kill line, it would be like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hope you found that death appealing. And, like, that's the joke, and that's our setup. Uh, but we got the suggestion of pony, so what I did is I came in, and I was like, you can't see my body, but I'm pretending to ride a pony. Or should I say pretending, or I'm acting like I'm riding a pony. So I get there, and I get off the pony, which you can't see my legs, but I'm stepping over like a cowboy. And I take the pony, I go, wha-bam, wha-bam, wha-bam. And then I said, stay golden, pony boy, which the crowd erupted in laughter. It was probably our biggest, the biggest hit of the night. And if you're not familiar, uh, stay golden, pony boy is from The Outsiders. And that's something that most high school kids have to read. And I felt pretty good. I was like, damn, I can read a crowd. Like, typically, sure. I play for 21 and up at the West Side Comedy Theater in L.A. But I'm not pigeonholed into a certain demographic. I can, I can play to any crowd. And I hit that, that S.E. Hinton Outsiders thing pretty well. Uh, what else happened? We did something called Shakespeare Switch, which is an improv scene where you're doing regular speaking, and it's like, oh, blah, 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 we're talking normal, and then somebody will blow a whistle, and then all of a sudden you're in Shakespeare, it's like, blah, 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 wherefore art thou, blah, 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 and, uh, so it was, uh, I forgot what the suggestion was, it was hang gliding, and so I played a girl in the scene, sorry, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry. Is it Kristen Brenner? It's not Kristen Brenner. It doesn't matter. You know Brenner. But nonetheless, I was like, I'm playing a female in this scene. I did a pretty good job. I played the role. And I was like, oh, my father doesn't like the risks and blah, blah. And it's like, you know, blow the whistle. And it's like, my father doth not want our hearts to be crushed and blah, 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 blah. Scene goes on. Dad comes in, tells me to get into the car. Whistle blows and it's like, sit in the carriage. And so I'm in there and I'm watching them. And I see this guy going for his hip. Can I show this? So he's like reaching for his hip while they're in an argument. And I know in my head, I'm like, I don't know these guys very well because I just met them a couple days ago. But when you see somebody in a Shakespearean scene reaching for the hip, they're going for a sword. Nine times out of ten, they're going for a sword. So I was waiting for it. And as soon as I saw him make the move, I pretended to step outside of the carriage. And as he went, shing, I went, oh. And as the girl character, I died there, which is I mean, maybe I should stop patting myself on the back, patting myself on the back, but I thought it was brilliant. Um, what Shakespeare played is the romantic interest not die at the end. You know what I mean? Well, cars are coming. People are looking at me suspicious, like, what is this person in the middle of nowhere doing with technology? Oh, gosh, I'm, an, I'm a jerk. 
I'm a real jerk. The people here have been so kind. Why would I pretend like they don't have technology? I'm using the free Wi-Fi at the hotel. For shame, James Haney, for shame. If you're going to go across the U.S., you better treat it with some respect. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in this evening. I think tomorrow I'll introduce you to the guys, but I'm afraid. I'm like, what if people are mean to them? I, I need these guys to, I need these guys to like doing videos. If I put a video up and everybody's like, oh, that that person, blah 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 blah, blah then they're gonna be like, I'm not doing videos with you and your fans, and then I'll cry. So. I'm trying to get to know them well enough so that as a good improviser, I can set them up to be successful. Uh, tune in tomorrow.